Hello, Terraria enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, it's episode number 10, that's right. And, uh, and in today's episode, it's my goal to take down Skeletron. And, uh, and you all know how this goes. I either beat it, and I'm super happy about it, or I lose, and I'll blame, like, movement or something else. Because that's usually, uh, that's usually the case. So, I went onto the world today. I actually built my arena in advance. And I was pretty happy because I found an item I've been looking for for a while. And I think it's going to really help. It's a pretty boring item, but I got myself a lucky horseshoe. So, I'm going to combine these two bad boys. Make myself a blue horseshoe balloon. And then, when I'm uh, fighting Skeletron, I don't have to worry about my movement. Because I can take big, uh, big great jumps and, uh, and not worry too much. Huh, so this second reforge thing, this little bit where it's like 0.75 damage reduction. Um, is that a uh, is that a calamity thing? Is that right? I don't know. Because I don't know what what mod would be uh would be causing that. But anyway, welcome back. I actually missed yesterday's upload and uh, and I've been very good. I've been very pleased with myself with how uh how consistent I've been. So I thought you all deserved a little bit of a story about why I missed an upload. And it all leans back to an event last week, which I can't remember if I spoke about, but uh, it's all good context anyway. So as you all know, I, uh, I had braces. I, I mentioned it for years, because I had them for about four years. And, uh, and when I got them off, I got a retainer. Now, most of you know what a retainer is, because you probably had braces as well. Um, but it's basically a piece of plastic that goes around your teeth it's like a perfect mold of your teeth. You put it in at night, I have to wear it every night, and uh, it keeps your teeth straight. Because once you've had braces, a lot of people, if they have them off, it will go back to normal if you don't have this retainer in. So some people have the plastic one, some people have the metal one, I have the plastic one, and it broke. So, uh, so when my retainer broke, I looked at it and I thought, hmm... That's 75 pounds. <laughs> I don't want to buy another one of those. So I super glued it, which uh, which worked really well. Now, as a disclaimer, uh, because I didn't really think about this too much, super glue is obviously poisonous. Um, but I I had it in my mouth for for um, I don't know maybe like two months. Never had an issue. It was great. So it saved me 75 pounds almost. Um, but so I, I went and got. I had to go get a new one. And my dentist is like an hour and a half away drive. So I drove to the dentist last week and I uh, and I got my retainer. Uh, it was like two weeks ago. I got my retainer molds done and they're like, yeah, come back in a week, pick up your retainer. So I picked up my retainer and it was awful. It was like the, the lowest quality plastic I've ever seen. And it wasn't really like even a mold of my teeth. It was just rubbish. It was absolute crap. I paid £75 for garbage. So I was like, well, this is garbage. <laughs> Can you redo it? And they were like, yeah, sure. They were like, but you've got to come back on Friday. And I'm thinking, oh, why Friday? Because I, I go home on a, on a Saturday and uh, and it's near my dentist. So I'm like, can I come on Saturday? And they're like, no, we don't open on Saturdays anymore. And I'm like, well, it's Saturday today. <laughs> I'm here and it's Saturday. And they're like, no, come back next Friday. So yesterday, that's where I was. I, I had to go to the dentist to go get this retainer, which was great, by the way. It was fantastic. But I got stuck running a bunch of errands and and time just really got away from me and all that driving. Oh, I just felt so headachey and just felt crummy, basically. So I made my news video for uh, for Chippy Gaming and I was like, that's enough. <laughs> I'm all right. I've YouTubed enough. I'm off to bed. And that's what I did. And even today, I had to do the, the big long drive today and I'm knackered. I had to go for a nap. I've woken up for my nap now and I've got a can of like ginger ale. Like, that's what I'm drinking, and I'm eating, like, fizzy wine gums to try and perk me up a little bit. These are the, uh, the sacrifices. Okay, come on, hurry up, man. Just give me this curse. All I want is this curse. And I also want the cloth ear outfit. It's not, a, it's not Halloween, but I'm desperate for it. I want some vanity. I'm not a big fan of this armor sprite, I won't lie. I, I, I don't know, it just doesn't mesh well with me. I want a vanity. So I'm like, oh, please, just give me some kind of cloth ear kind of vanity. There we go, it's nighttime now. I tell you what, man, I, uh, I desperately, desperately, desperately want to go to Paris because I went to Paris when I was 14 and I loved it. I thought it was awesome and, uh, and I've been wanting to go back and I've been finding like any excuse to go back and, uh, and I've got to babysit my nephew who's going to be, uh, well, he's 13, 14 and I've got to babysit him in May 
And I was like, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take him to Paris. We're going to go to Paris, and that's what we'll do when I'm, when I'm babysitting him. And then I look in the news today, and it's like, the Par Paris riots have continued onwards. Protesters have burnt down a shop. But I'm like, oh, please, Paris, chill out. Come on. <laughs> Obviously, I don't mean to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of half joking here. I hope whatever uh, these people are protesting about, they, uh, they sort it out. You know what I mean? Because I, I actually have no idea. I haven't really bothered to research into it. Um, because I think a lot of it went down when, I don't know, I wasn't really interested in the news. I go through phases of the news. I either listen to it and read it religiously, like I do now, or I just can't be bothered. And it was probably in the can't be bothered phase. But I learned today, I thought this was amazing. So you can get to Paris from, uh, from England. It's obviously like across the pond. But you can get a train there that obviously goes underwater. I think it's called the Eurostar. You can get it from London. Now, they've developed a new train that's coming out, like, really, really soon. Like, maybe, like, next month from where I live. That will be able to take you to, like, London in an hour. Which is ridiculously quick. So, when I used to go to London, when I was a teen, and I would, like, travel down to London for, like, a night out or whatever. To, like, go and, like, I don't know, explore the city. It would take four hours on a train. Four hours and a half. So the fact that they've got a train now for an hour, and then it takes two hours to get from London to Paris. So you could leave my house, and theoretically, if everything lines up, and you could get from London to the well, you could get from where I live to Paris in like three hours and a bit, because obviously you've got to factor in like wait times. That's amazing, that. I, this is really, really cool. So that's why I was like, I want to go to Paris. But uh, but man, it's just not destined to be. When my <laughs> my friend was living in New York, um, and he, he he went to Paris the other month. It was in it was in December, because he was coming back from New York. He was moving back, and um, and he had like a connection in Paris. And he was walking around with his girlfriend, and he got tear gassed. <laughs> and, uh, so that's why when I'm like, oh, I don't really want to go to Paris because of the protesters. I do have a little bit of um of a history with it. Man, though, when I, I remember when I went to Paris when I was like 13, 14, it was when they had the um, the volcano eruptions, and it was like, it was, was it in Iceland? The Iceland volcanoes erupted, and it stopped all the planes back for days. And I remember it was like a heat wave as well. It was so good. But I just want to go back. I love, um, my favorite thing is exploring like just random places, essentially. That is like, and that's cliche, because everybody enjoys it, and it's for good reason, right? But I am desperate to go back to Paris, because I was obviously... 14 is, is quite young. Or it feels young now. You know, at the time it doesn't feel young, but it definitely is. It's definitely very young. So I'd like to go and see it with some, some adult eyes. Alright, come on, Skeletron. There we go. Absolutely smashed you. Thank you very much. I got two adrenalines during that, and uh... Yeah, and I'm proud of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that to my badge of achievements. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just sipping on the uh, the ginger ale. The ginger ale. This is interesting. So, I don't drink energy drinks anymore. And uh, one of the big uh, people that make energy drinks is Red Bull. And that was probably my favorite energy drink of choice, was a good Red Bull. Um, but they now make uh, mixers. And mixers are like um, a fancy word for, uh, for like a soft drink that you mix with alcohol. That's what a mixer is. And um, they, they make mixers now. And I just drink the mixers, because the mixers are really good. So they look, it's like a non-energy drink, but instead of uh, instead of like releasing like a can of Coke, they're like, oh, it's a brand new cola mixer, because it sells more, because you just sell it to bars, because bars stock Red Bull, because most bars, at least in Britain, have like um, contracts with Red Bull. So like, if you're going to sell Jaeger, you sell Red Bulls, right? It just makes sense. Oh, I'm going to do this event. I'm not going to do it today, but I am going to do this. I'm glad I found this, dude. That's why they're doing it. They're like, oh, we'll just sell mixers because it sounds more uh, prestigious or whatever. But they're really good. They're actually not bad. But they're just, yeah, they just are what they are. Okay. Let's see. Massive Muramasa. Oh, he's massive. Uh, thank you very much for the Muramasa game. Uh, I will take that. Oh, it's an engineer. It's the engineer. We don't really need anything from the engineer. So we'll leave it be. Yeah, I don't know what I want from here, honestly. I don't use the Cobalt Shield as much as I used to. I don't really like... Unless there's something brand new that I'm going to be like, wow. 
I don't really want oh else. I will. I always take this because this is important. Oh, thank you very much. But I think other than that, I am good. Like, I don't. I don't really need it from here. There's some good paintings. I don't know if you guys saw it. But you probably did because because uh, it's the bigger channel. But I posted a new spoiler video yesterday on Chippy Gaming. And it had some really banging paintings in it. I can't wait. I'm so excited for the next update. I really am. And uh, and I see a lot of people ask people, like, what am I going to do when the new update comes out? The plan is, essentially, I'm going to do a Let's Play. Because, uh, of course, like, why not? And I'll probably post that here. I'll keep a modded series. If we're doing a modded series and it comes out, I'll be uh, keeping that alongside my new series. So I'll be doing both. And then I'll just continue to make, uh, to make mod videos until... Um, until all the mods get updated. So I'll talk about all that in the future. But I won't worry too much about it. It's probably not going to come out very soon. But uh, that is the plan. And uh, and I'll do some like streams. And I'll do some like uh, server stuff. And you know I'll, I'll set up a server. And we'll you know we'll all have a good game on it and stuff. That's what I, that's what I, I plan to do. That's what I'd like to do. Oh it's the magic conch. Okay. So dumping off some of this stuff. Uh, let's see here. I need a nice place for this. I love this painting. It's a true reference, my friends. So let's put that there. Uh, and then we'll put Sparky. The problem is with this Sparky uh, painting is it's a bit large. It is a bit of a large painting. One of the things I've got to set up is, uh, is the magical storage mod. I haven't set it up yet. And I've had it for a long time. Um, but I don't know why. I'm just really enjoying this like simple approach to Terraria. But uh, once I get into um, once I get into the fact that I can just set up magical storage and bosh everything in a chest, I will do. But this is actually pretty good because it keeps making me look at my uh, my items and stuff a little bit closer. So let's open this up, this mad lad. We got some uh, laundanum. Do we already have a bottle of laundanum? What did I take off here? Oh, it's the fungal clump. Yeah, I took the fungal clump off. Um, do we already have a bottle of this? Yeah, I did think so because I was like I remember it we, we were speaking about this and combining the two So what are we doing now? I think it's slime god. Uh, I did set something up for this But um, it was only kind of like half-heartedly because I was like I've got to do a little bit of prep Like I say I am knackered though uh, so we need some purified gel and Oh right, okay, so this is the original that's the one that you get afterwards, right? So you need blighted gel. Do I have any blighted gel? I've got 31 pieces of blighted gel. So I'll take those. And then have I got any... Uh, yeah, I've got some ebonstone blocks. How many do you need? It's just 25. And you need an anvil. God, slime god, man. Slime god. This is another one of these boss fights. It goes one of two ways. It's either great. Or it's hard. <laughs> and it always depends on what version of uh, Calamity you're running on. Because <laughs> they change it, don't they? To obviously uh, to compensate for whatever else is going on in the mod. So I will, I'm going to over-prepare for this. But uh, we do have the, the sea foam bomb, which I did, uh, I did reforge. I didn't expect to, to be able to reforge it, truthfully. So I was kind of doing it out of a whim. And I was like, hey... It's pretty good. <laughs> I was pleased. I really was. So, other than uh, other than retainer stuff, what I was doing yesterday is I actually saw my uh, my friend was down from London, and uh, and I've spoke about this friend before. So this friend on his birthday eight years ago came to my house with a microphone. He bought it from Wilco. It was a fiver, and he he was trying to encourage me to make YouTube videos, and that was the day I started Chippy Gaming eight years ago. And uh, that's on Monday. The anniversary of that is on Monday. So I see my friend because he was down from London because he's studying in London now um, to give him a birthday gift. I don't I don't exchange birthday gifts with a lot of friends, uh, especially now that I'm older and everybody's moved away to like university and they've all finished uni and, you know, whatever else. Actually, none of my friends have finished university. Not one. <laughs> all of them have kind of, you know, redone a year. <laughs> Although some of the ones from college, they've, they've finished, but I don't see them as often. Anyway, he's the only one I actually exchange gifts with. We've been exchanging gifts since we were kids. And we always exchange the same thing. It's just bars of chocolate. Thankfully, it's not my birthday. Because I would have been at a loss. Because I can't have chocolate. Right, I'm fighting this fight real bad already. That was just dumb maneuvering that. Ooh, okay. 
Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> so I am going to struggle to hit this with the uh, the bomb, I, I reckon. Yeah, this is a bad fight already. I'll tell you what I've done. I've kept it zoomed in, and I've not really focused on movement. So let's uh, let's disregard this, because that was actually uh, that was some dumb plays right there. Yeah, I'm embarrassed by that. <laughs> that was not good. You definitely don't stand around for the slime god to... Uh... <laughs> you just don't. Oh, where do you get blighted gel from? Is it literally just the uh, the corruption? Let's go bang some um, some aggression potions. Can you sell? Oh, you do sell Zerg. Oh wow. See, I don't think you should be able to buy that. The Yarim stimulants. Should be able to buy that now. Should you? Yarim's stimulants. Oh, I guess so. Oh, yeah, I would say so, yeah. All right. Well, yeah, fair enough. I'll take that then. That's not actually bad. Do you know what the thing is with that mod? Is that you obviously don't want to take too many stuff because it, like, kind of unbalances the whole thing. But I feel like everybody knows that everybody uses the Alchemist mod, so it balances it out in its own little way. All right, we go kill slimes. I'm good for some slimy boys. But, yeah, I met with my friend. We had Starbucks. It was good. Um, I gave him his chocolate. We used to, like, give Galaxy, and then we kind of moved to Cadbury's. So I got him a bar of Galaxy and Cadbury's. I remember one year. <laughs> I can't remember what year it was. It might have been about two years ago. I got him a serious gift, like a nice gift. It wasn't expensive. It was just a nice gift. And I remember he opened it up, and he was like, what the hell? He was like, we give each other chocolate. What are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, I thought... I thought it could be a little bit nicer. And he's like, no. <laughs> it has to be chocolate. Made me laugh. Hey, there you go. We need to kill these dudes, don't we? Nice. 15? Oh, this is going to go so quick. I am beginning to think that this arena is too small. I'm going to put that out there. I think I've walked the arena size. I do think it needs to be like a long track. A long... I think maybe doing this little, uh, this little tilted area up here, that's probably not gonna, gonna, like, benefit me very much. Just because of the way the, uh, the boss fight works. Okay, let's see. Can we get another slimy boy? I just need, uh, one more slimy boy, please. You get a lot of slimes just on top in general. Oh, there you go. There's a slimy boy. Come on. Boom. Alright. Sick. So that's all the ones we need. I miss Zerg. I miss Zerg so much. Is it weird to get nostalgic about a potion? Probably not. Uh, let's go down here. And can we give a hallelujah for uh, Calamity for making boss summons at an anvil instead of a demonite altar? I'm going to give a hallelujah. Well, hey. Because <laughs> I'm actually really pleased about that. All right, let's go test this out. We'll, we'll do this one more time. And this is like a half serious attempt. It's definitely not a Leviathan attempt, if you know what I mean. I'm definitely not going to... Um, do this properly. But what I will do is I will think about it and, uh, and make my arena better tomorrow. Smooth it all out. Make it super nice. Help myself. You know what I mean? But I can't believe my YouTube channel is going to turn 8. It's weird. It is weird. It's been a long time of my life. It's almost... Um, it's like not quite, but it is almost... Well, actually, no. I was going to say it's almost half my life, but that would have made me 16. Um, so it's a third of my life. A third of my life I've been making videos. And the majority of that has been about Terraria. Impressive, right? Okay, zoom out. Alright, I'm slow. Yep, I'm definitely slow. So I've got to factor that in. Um, right. Hmm, got to do some big boy plays here. Ugh, okay. I'm just going to keep arcing these. Alright. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> we were so close to getting that uh, that adrenaline. That would have changed things around. Oh, God, I need to stop moving into those as well. If you're wondering, by the way, I really like the Slime God fight, just in general. I don't think it's a... Uh, I think it's a difficult fight if you don't have the right arena. But just in general, I like it. Okay, so I think if I was to swap out one of my accessories... So I've got the Heart of Darkness on now. And I think if I was to swap that out for the crown jewel, that fight would have been way better. Because I was poisoning myself, and uh, instead of being poisoned, I would have gained a buff. So we'll do that tomorrow. That's definitely a plan for tomorrow. So, 
for now, guys. I think that's about it. I'm going to go back to sleep after this one. And, uh, and I just want to say, hey, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying your weekend so far. Uh, I guess it was good to take a day off because it meant a lot of people could catch up because a lot of people can't watch long episodes during the week. So, hey, I hope you're all caught up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.